what you're seeing here uh, is this machine called the JD1. It's one of the new offerings from uh, LMW. So this machine is a drill tap center. So that's why the D comes from. So we have a series of machines here called the JD1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, now I'll be explaining to you what this JD1 is all about. This is a high-speed drill tap center, which is catering to some of the latest requirements of the machining, especially in the electronic industry, uh, where it is a growing industry, the mobile manufacturing and things like that, where you need very high-speed machining, especially of uh, components which are made of aluminum or this kind of material. Now, when I say high-speed machining, you know, you should understand that this machine has a 48 meter rapid in all the axes, the 1G acceleration. So this is how the axis speeds move. So I could just give you a close up of this to show you how the machine is actually moving. Uh, can you just show me the axis movement? Yes. Axis Once more. So this is the kind of speed of the axis movement over here. And uh, one of the USP of this machine is it, it comes with a 24,000 RPM. Now, when I say 24,000 RPM, it is also reaching the maximum speed at a very, very short time, which means the acceleration is very high. Okay, so from zero to 20, 24,000, it is in about two seconds. I could just show it to you actually so that you can really see what it is. In fact, when I'll show you the timer, you can just uh, look at the spindle. You can just look at the spindle where we'll just start and give a program, and you can actually see how fast it is reaching this target. Okay, it's about 2.2 seconds is what we have achieved now for achieving the maximum speed of 24,000 RPM. So this is what I wanted to show you. Now, apart from that, you will also see that we have a tool changer, which is about 1.18 seconds, or to be 1.2 seconds to be precise, is the tool change time between uh, two stations. So overall, the idea of this machine is to reduce the non-cutting time. See, when you say value addition on a machine, you're talking about the material removal. Now, when the machine is not removing material, we treat it as a non-value added activity. So how fast we can do so that the time for the non-value added is kept to the minimum. That's why we are talking of this high speed uh, rapids, high spindle speed, and also a very short tool change time. So this way your cycle times will become very, uh, very, very lesser cycle times, and you are actually producing more. Now, Having made this machine, you also have to see how good the machine is in terms of the performance. Right? When you're talking of the performance of the machine, we are talking about the four micron repeatability, or positioning accuracy of four micron. Now, this is very difficult to achieve. Now, this machine has achieved that. So the components that you churn out on this, or machine on this, are going to be of very, very high quality, with very high precision machining is possible on this machine. And uh, being at 24,000 RPM, you can also go for very, very small drills and very, very small tapping uh, can be. I'll just show you the tool that we're using on this. See, this tool there is a 1.6 millimeter drill. Now, uh, doing a drilling of this size, a very small drill, at 24,000 RPM, and still the tool is not breaking. So that will explain to you how rigid the spindle is and how rigid the machine is. Now, when you're machining very small components with very small drills and taps, the productivity is going to depend on how good this uh, drilling and tapping is happening and the life of the tool without breaking. So that is how the machine is designed for a very high rigidity. So that's that's what, what I want to show over here. So this is uh, something. Now, uh, you can look at the component being machined on this, the kind of surface finish because of the high RPMs. And uh, this is a NAS test piece where you get a circularity of about uh, six microns. This is what you'll be able to achieve on this uh, machine. So this is uh, in a nutshell of what this uh, machine is. So it's, it, it is a very compact machine, occupies a very slow, so short uh, floor space, right? And a very high productivity machine. So there are very few players in, who actually make this type of machines. And now 
we have introduced them in India. So this is for the uh, growing market in India. So you will find that this machine really meets all the requirements of this particular industry. 